Welcome back to the Pipe Squatch channel. Hopefully you're watching this this Saturday, uh, August something, 2017. It's the opening day for my Tennessee Titans preseason. I'm a big football guy. Probably will have some discussions about football over a pipe, just like I'll have some business discussions at some point, philosophy. I wanna start doing even Game of Thrones reviews, Walking Dead reviews, stuff like that over pipe. Uh, today I want to talk about one of my new favorite blends. I also want to talk about why it makes me sad. It's my new favorite blend. I hate to be um, repetitive about the whole firearms thing. But in the firearms world, this stuff right here, 22 long rifle, very simple, easy, inexpensive round to shoot and target shoot and hunt small game with and whatnot. It's very hard to get. Main reason it's very hard to get is because of the supply and demand issue. Well, there's a huge demand. When supply comes in, people are waiting in line at Walmart. People are waiting in line at Academy. People are waiting in line everywhere and they buy it all. Well, then all of a sudden the supply is kaput because of fear that they're gonna lose it for some reason. So my question is, is esoterica tobacco? The tobacco world's 22 long rifle. Cause this stuff is so hard to get. <laughs> I was so stinking lucky. Well, I don't know if I was lucky as much as I had to pay for it. But one of my local tobacconists, little cigar club, as I was digging through their, their cans of McClellan's, in the backs, tucked away, were two eight ounce bags of Esoterica Pembroke. I'm like, wow, I've heard a lot about Esoterica Penzance. Immediately I get online and every time I go in there, I look like an idiot because I'm Googling and researching and reading reviews while I'm standing in the, the store. Another thing pipe people do probably. I found out it's a good English blend, which I love English now, uh, with cognac. I'm like, all right, I'll go for it. So when I went up there, I was like, hey, how did you have this? She goes, well, I try to get as much as I can, but it, I, I'm not going to mention the website that does it. But there's one website that kind of hoards a lot of it and they'll get the biggest orders of it. So I did pay a little premium price on this, but it's been worth it. It's been worth every penny. This is one of the better tobaccos I've smoked. I'm going to kind of do a little mini review, but it's not going to be too much. But it's just odd to me that <laughs> Esoterica they put out a lot of the tobacco. They have regular shipments. She told me that the, at the end of August, I think they're getting a, another batch is coming into the United States or maybe it's the end of July. Crap, did I miss it? That it comes in periodically. It's just when it does, people buy it all. Same thing with this stuff. When people buy it all, if you don't need 20 pounds of Pembroke or 20 pounds of Penzance, which is the one I want to try. Don't get 20 pounds of Penzance. Let other people get a chance at it. If you want to get it, get it. I get it. If it's your favorite, get it and store it and then you never have to worry about it running out. Man, in these last two videos, I've been kind of complaining, haven't I? I apologize for that. Anyways, smoking some of the Pembroke in my Dagner P7. Charlite is nothing less than amazing. The, while I let that cool, the bag note, when you first open it, you get a slight bit of the Latakia. You get some, some of the Virginia, but what you get the most of is that cognac. <clears throat> you get a lot of that cognac smell in this right out of the bat on the bag. Uh, the room note, mm, let me go through this bowl and invite my wife up and I'll tell you how that was. But it's not just kick your butt air freshener room note, but it's actually pretty, it's pretty nice. For those of you who like the beard note, beard note's excellent in this. Didn't really need to dry it. She said it had been there for a while. I looked it up. There's no real way to date when the, the Esoterica bags were uh, processed. I don't know about the tins. Maybe there is. 
But with this, <laughs> the thing that I that makes me so oh man is that I don't know if I don't go buy that second bag at a premium price, then I'll, when I'll get to get it again. I don't know when I'll get to try their other ones, like the Penzance. At least with Northwoods, another one that I just recently tried that I'm really liking a lot and still liking. I know I can get it pretty easily. It's just a really nice, smooth, fairly mild. smoke. I've not had anything cured with any kind of alcohol, whether it's whiskey or cognac or rum, any of that stuff. The cognac in this is, is very subtle. You actually have to be thinking cognac, cognac, cognac to taste it while you're smoking it. Cognac, cognac, cognac. Yeah, see it works. The balance of the Latakia and the Virginia in this is outstanding. You know how in a lot of Englishes you'll have the Latakia that over, overpowers the Virginias or the Virginias that this doesn't get the Latakia out of it? The balance is almost perfect. It's almost like somebody has a scale in my mouth and they're going even. But as far as a review goes, I don't even have to tell you. I don't have to go through this whole bowl. I've been through two or three. From the top to the bottom, you get a very pleasant, smooth smoke. I've actually tried just burning the crap, like just puffing on it. Don't get any tum bite. And the cognac, it's kind of weird. The cognac gives it kind of a, I don't want to say aromatic. <clears throat> and I don't want to say perfumey because it's, a, it's more of a masculine. And I don't want to say cologne because you think, eh, eh. but fragrant. There we go. It gives you a nice fragrant smell to an English. And the, the room note, the beard, the room notes turn out to be pretty good. Beard notes, excellent. The taste is excellent. If this is this good, and I hear Penzance is their best, I can't wait to try that. <clears throat> I'm on the lookout for it. Man, this is good. Wow. You know what? I didn't do a hundred subscriber giveaway. Thank you again for that, by the way. Oh, and somebody I didn't thank, I meant to say, uh, thebriarreport.com. It's a blog website. It has all kinds of news about pipes and stuff. They put an ad up for me, and that was, it was mind-blowing. It, it just goes back to the community that we're in and how generous and kind and every. I'm getting choked up. <clears throat> no, but it was really nice of the Briar Report to do that. I'll put a link to their site in my, in my page here down below. I'll tell you what, since I didn't do a hundred subscriber review, when I hit 200, I'm going to set this aside. This is an eight ounce bag. I'm going to set aside an ounce and a half, two ounces of this stuff. And I'm going to come up with something cool when I get close. Don't know what it'll be yet. I'll come up with something cool video response thing to where whoever wins that 200 subscriber giveaway is going to get a couple ounces of this. Yeah, this is good stuff. So would I recommend you buy it? <laughs> I can recommend it all day long, but if it's not available, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, if it's available, snag it. Pembroke by Esoterica. It's awesome. So awesome. This is what I'm gonna smoke during the Titans preseason game. By the way, don't know if he wants me to do it or not, but Hot Wings 326 and I have a little wager going. I guess it's kind of public. We said it in the public comment section of one of his videos. Y'all always see him with a Bill's visor on. <clears throat> Another great channel. I'll put his link down here too. He always wears that Bill's visor. And I said, hey, let me send you a Titans visor. Send you a Titans visor. Which he's like, oh, you know, I live in Carolina and I hadn't even converted to the Panthers. So I made a wager. Whoever has the best record this year the other person has to wear the opposing. So if the Titans have the worst record, I gotta wear a Bills hat. If the Titans have a better record, then he has to wear a Titans hat for one video, public video. Pick your team now and root for whoever you want to see in a different hat. That's that. Esoterica Pembroke. Is it the 22 long rifle of our tobacco world? 
pretty darn close comparison. Would I recommend you buy it? Like I said, if it's there, you better snag it because it won't be there long. I would say it's going to be part of my regular rotation, but I'm scared it's not going to be available enough to be in a regular rotation. So, keep your pipes loaded. Slow down, philosophize, and enjoy life. See you guys.